Get ready. My voice is a little bit. It's good. Okay. Lead to order. Okay. Please stand for the pledge of allegiance. Compiled with the notice provisions of Sunshine Law by adopting prior to January 10th this year, a resolution prescribing date and times and locations of all regular meetings of the commission. This meeting is one of the meetings listed. Such resolution and copies of resolution uh, were by January 10th filed with the federal court. Um, we had the second meeting of public hearing of Board of 1749 and many chapter 301 of the Code of the Borough of Collins with the Board of Rents. Okay. Um, you know, this is the season. Um, uh, this first one is uh, the, the, the two successive ones, right? The two succession that have to do with this, and they both work out to uh, about a 10% increase. Uh, this is uh, the uh, public hearing uh, on this. If anyone would like to be heard on this matter, this is your opportunity. Yes. Second meeting, the sewer breaks. And, uh, you know, similar, uh, as the mayor talked about before, I think. One of the big things that we're dealing with right now are regulations, uh, new regulations to um, <clears throat> monitor and deal with uh, forever chemical PFAS, uh, also uh, mandatory replacement of a certain amount of sewer uh, water lines uh, in here, but also sort of looking forward to uh, land and service lines. Uh, so uh, water's got to be a more expensive endeavor, and it's one that we uh, uh, you know, hope, especially with the um, um, Federal Infrastructure Act and somewhere down the line with these support and uh, Oh, this is uh this is a public hearing on this. Uh if anyone would like to hear on this matter, this is their uh, opportunity. Yes. 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 The second meeting public hearing of salary uh or then seventeen so this is the pay grades, a uh, range of uh, pay for uh, particular uh, areas. Uh, this public hearing on this, if anyone would like to be heard on this matter, this is their opportunity. Yes. Yes. Second meeting of public hearing for the 1752 of any chapter 2.1 reports, documents, and photographs. So this one uh, allows us to add a uh, an additional fee of five dollars for administrative costs that we incur for uh, for uh, report documents. Uh, public meeting. This is a, an ordinance. So this is public meeting on this. If anyone would uh, like to be heard on this matter, this is the time. Okay. Well, Please stand for the pledge <laughs> Uh, the second meeting public hearing reported 1753 all private and financial agreements between the borough of Collinswood at 900 Haddon Urban Renewal LLC for the property located at 900 Haddon Avenue. Yeah, this is the station house uh, property. If you're not familiar with it, uh, new owner has, has come in and put a sizable amount of money at a time when not a lot of people are putting a sizable amount of money into the office market. So we're pleased to see that type of. Uh, uh, this is, uh, I gotta, I gotta see, family's been doing this forever. I wrote down what you say. <laughs> this is the public hearing on this. Uh, if anyone would like to be heard on this matter, this is their opportunity. Mm -hmm. I'll have you. Uh, Mr. Lomidiasi? Yes. yes. Uh, we're going to get to the resolution, but let's open it up for public comment. This will be uh, public comment for resolutions only. Afterwards, we'll have public comment for the right. Uh, if anyone would like to uh, speak to the resolution, you can. Okay, I'll uh, 
Hold on. Guys, I have a, uh, sorry. I have an attendee who has a raised hand. Oh, great. Uh, Kevin Barfield. Yes. Barfield, B-A-R-F-I-E-L-D. B as in Barry, sorry. Not like the school. Kevin, can you state your address? Yes, um, 525 Newton Lake Drive, Collinsville. 525 Newton Lake Drive? Yes. All right, Kevin, how can we help you? Yes, um, I'm sorry. I am just got on the... Um, on it um on the site so if so the, i'm looking at i think y'all talking about the resolution ordinance is this the same the ordinance seven one seven five zero and this one, is ordinance one seven five three one seven five zero was passed okay so okay so then i'll be able to talk about that during the public portion which is now right What's which is now public portion is about the resolution. Yes. yes. Yes, that would be now. Okay, so okay. what would you like to Okay, so um in reference to I guess the ordinance um 1750 and 1749 um I was wondering if like of these are particularly like flat rates cuz I'm trying to figure out like is this so happened I just kind of came across this and I know that even like where I'm located at I know that now we're starting to have to pay for um water and sewer. So I'm just kind of trying to figure out if this is kind of relating to like what's going on here and I build building. So the flat rate is one question. And the other one is like, what is considered a residence and non-residence? And um, for me, I'm trying to figure out like, you know, how is it, you know, um, if we're being overcharged for something, you know, for this particular water and sewer, how do we go about trying to, to resolve that? Or kind of knowing like, where do we fit at into these resolutions? Being in an apartment complex I mean, that doesn't have men. An apartment Meaning, complex. Or, 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 apartment complex, as you know. So I guess there's a couple answers that Betty Jones yeah, was, yeah, is three. to you. One of the questions so for everyone to hear was these flat rates or these usage rates, um, they're actually both, right? So first ordinance is based on sort of the size of the water connection is based the flat rate based on the diameter of the water service line. Um, the other one is actually based on consumption from there. Uh, I don't know how Parkview does their water. Um, you know, that would be something that would be in the lease private. I don't know if anyone yeah, here it. knows it. Um, if there is, you know, a particular, you know, issue you want to pursue further, I encourage you to reach out to me uh, the email arlewandowski at collingswood.com i uh, reach out to our business administrator uh, Cass Duffy, and uh, we can work to try to get those answers because it's that sort of more of a private lease agreement i don't know specific to there but if there's something particular that's concerning you want to know about let's let's continue this yeah so so How's i'm that? sorry i'm sorry can you repeat again when you were saying about um, how you think that they're um, basing the rate of usage? Because, um, you know, again, I'm just kind of like, uh, we was breaking up when you was talking. I didn't even get your information as far as your contact to kind of talk to this, you know, later on. Gotcha, gotcha. So so usage is just based, is just, is just that based on consumption. And in, in an ordinary single home, with a single service line, that's easy to determine. We don't know in the area where you've got hundreds of units how how water is 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 broken up because it's just that you know that would be something that's not individual service lines from the borough to each apartment. So I just don't have that answer. Um, but it's something that you know I'd be curious to know myself and we could work on it. If there's anything else to discuss on that, I encourage you. Let's let's continue to talk. Okay, cool. So, yeah. so, so what is your what is your contact information? I can send you both of those so that you have them. Okay, so thank fast. you. Oh yeah, she can do it. With yeah, the chat. I can send them to you right now so that you have them. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you for joining. All right, I'll send those to you right now. Okay, thank you. Yep. Okay, 
anything else in the resolution? And hearing none, Tom? I include the 2023 our meeting schedule for the Board of Commissioners, the Third Board, and the Board of Trustees of Collinsville Library. Yes. Authorizing an MOA between the Bureau of Congress and Interest 830. This is a memorandum of understanding for a new contract, which will go through 2023. Yes. Offering a share of service agreement with the mer with Merchantville for inspection and construction department. Shared service agreements are great. Yep. Yeah. Awarding a contract to South State Incorporated for the Harrison Avenue Utility Equipment Project. And this uh, bid uh, estimate from the bid, uh, South State was the lowest bidder, came in within the range of our uh, engineer's estimate, which is always good to use. So we budgeted properly. Uh, yes. Establishing 2023 salaries for certain employees for Borough Collinswood. Yeah. Transfer yeah. budget, budget appropriations within the 2022 budget. Uh, yes. Accepting maintenance bond from American Asphalt for the Grant Avenue Phase 3 project. Uh, yes. Proving rapid license 2022-7 for the Rotary Public College. Yeah, this was, if you, if this was just added uh, recently. Uh, they have an upcoming fundraiser for their scholarships that they provide to uh, students, and I uh, want to make sure we get it on the calendar. Uh, yes. Yeah. And approving the payment bill that's presented by the striker. Yes. Yeah. Well, I have it. Um, <laughs> right, Commissioner Robinson. Um, happy holidays, happy new year, and uh, just a big, big thank you to everyone's part for all here and looking forward to doing the best we can. Thank you. Um, I just echo those those comments uh, and you know, special thanks to Public Works. Uh, as holidays were coming up and there were deep freezes and rain, we were uh, really uh, worrying about uh, you know public safety and keeping our streets uh, safe. Fantastic job, uh, and uh, let's uh, keep it going. Uh, best to everyone for the new year. Uh, so we will uh, open it up for uh, public comment. Uh, anything else you'd like to talk about? You know the deal? It's neighbor. Where's the plan that said 43 people towns? I'll follow up on the, uh, the handicap parking. Uh, you said you were going to look into it. Do you find anything out about it? Yeah, yeah. it's been taught past you. So we. I uh, didn't announce this a lot. The new spaces, we do need two additional parking spots, two additional handicap parking spots, one of which needs to be van accessible. So we are in the process now of identifying which two they'll be, and hopefully, if weather permitting, we'll get them painted. Well, a okay, follow up on that is when they painted the lines for the regular parking places, which they did in the summertime, they didn't paint the two that already exist in front of this building. Okay. And, and, and the reason why I brought it up was for the simple fact that they put tanks there in the farmer's market so they can fall okay. there. You're the saying you have floods in front of this building need to be repainted? Yes. Okay. And they get, okay. they get covered by tents yep. during the market? Yes. We'll add that to the project. And, and the 900 uh, Adam Avenue. Did you find out that they're going to put handicap? I don't know if we have. Yeah, I don't know if we There are actually, we did announce that there are some spots existing in their life. They might need to be repeated though, but because they're in the middle of a lot of upgrades, they probably will address that afterwards. We can we can confirm that with them. I was, I'm checking out. I didn't see any. I didn't see it personally, but the folks that took a look said they are there. They're just faded. So either way, we'll make sure they get I mean, it, dressed up, but it's, you know, they're just in the middle of the truck at the moment. So they're probably waiting to finish their lot details until I put down the truck. Maybe you can paint the one there by the probability to go ahead. Yeah, I, you know, generally come come the spring, of course, right? You yeah. know, break out the paint. And the other thing is they have that parking space there on, uh, Um, next to the 
where they had the old uh, uh, Jordan thing in there. No. Oh, oh, we're um, yeah, the, the water line. Yeah, yes. There's no, there's I don't see any in there. No, I think no. There's like five. There's, I mean, there's people park in there. Yeah, I don't know how much longer that's going to stay parking. Um, but but when we when you came last time, I think one of the things that we said is let's let's cast a wider net towards you know where else what Robert School looks like and what it's like that. So you know I don't I wouldn't expect it all to get done in a day. As you can imagine even just sort of bringing an engineer to. Set up the parking spaces over here. It doesn't happen in, in an instant, and then painting in thirty degree weather doesn't. Yeah, I, mean, I understand that, but I just want to make sure yeah. that the plans on there are inspected that by April or so when it gets warm. Yeah, I mean, there's people park on that parking place. Would be nice to have handicaps in there for the simple fact it's on Hatton Avenue, and there isn't. Any on having an avenue period. And I don't expect any because of you can have clearance on both sides of the car to get out to any more than a handicap person is getting out of it. Yeah, there's you know the library. Well that's you can't get have both sides in front of a lot of No, no, I understand. I'm just saying there are there, there are spots they are sort of imperfect in the sense that you should talk about. But so thank you. By the way, just in, in terms of parking, I just want to sort of mention because they did just go online, but we uh, actually have uh, um, in the lumber yard uh, two level two, right? They're level two fast charging um, EV stations, electric vehicle stations. Uh, um, so we were fortunate to pursue a lot of free money. It's never really free, put a lot of work into it. Um, and uh, those are up and running. And we're going to keep pursuing finding ways to bring in infrastructure because I just feel like the need's just going to grow. And um, you know, we need to, need to be aware of that. So, um, anything else? Anything else for them? Resolutions? Okay, I'll do it. All right. Well, let's adjourn this meeting.